listen to your messages to change your Mobile Industry Review. The future of voicemail. Okay, my name is Olivier Sichel and I'm partner at Sofinova Partners. Sofinova Partners is the uh, leading VC firm in Paris, but we're operating all over Europe. Uh, we're investing in IT and in life sciences. And we also have a sister firm called Sofinova Ventures based in Silicon Valley. Well, you know, we've got a very strong focus on wireless. We think that it's an area of expertise in technology in Europe. Uh, you, don't, you should not forget that you know, GSM is a French word. It was invented by France Telecom, and that's where I come from. You know, I just learned Sofinova in 06, and before I was the CEO of Wondu and spent 10 years in the France Telecom group. First mobile uh, carrier is Vodafone. So it's a British one. It's you know it's the number one in the world with number of customers, and Nokia is still you know number one as a handset manufacturer. So it's really an area of expertise in Europe. So we think that um, it's really an, a nice area for investing in mobile, and it's been a very very active uh, area of investment and innovation. Yeah, so voicemail, it's, first of all, it's, you know, it's a very important feature in your, in your daily life. I mean, you're using voicemail every day and more than every day, you know, lots of time during, during the day, every time you've got a notification using. So it's a very important service. On the other hand, is it, is it a service that has changed a lot? I would say no. Is it a service that is really convenient and uh, very friendly? I've got a lot of frustration with my usage of the voicemail. You know, um, Apple did a, 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 a first step in the change, you know, because you could select the voicemail you need to hear. So I've got many, many voicemails. And uh, when I see that, you know, my, my, an important voicemail is just in seventh position, and I just have to listen to the six messages before, it makes me totally mad. So I'm, I'm, I'm basically uh, looking for a notification, and when I got notification, I'm immediately listening to my voicemail and then destroying the voicemail. That's interesting. So you don't keep the voicemail. You, it's, it's a one-time use. I think it's, you know, uh, I would say voicemail is a little bit like tomato. You know, it's a fresh product. Uh, once you use it, you, 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 most of them you don't need to, to keep it. Voicemail has been a feature totally controlled by the operator. So they didn't leave a lot of startups and innovators coming into that field. So it tends to be run, I would say, on a very routine and day-to-day -day basis and more capacity and delivery rather than thinking what could be the services we could, you know, we could uh, uh, provide to the users. I, I told you, you know, um, I was at France Telecom and I was at one time in charge of all the fixed line business. And uh, I told the team, there is one big frustration. We tend to be a global operator, and we have fixed customers and mobile customers. The way um, I manage the voicemail on the wireless is very different from fixed business. You know, if I want to delete it, I press on three button. If I want to delete it on uh, the fixed, it's a total different process. If I want to, you know, uh, call my voicemail, it's 888 on the wireless. And on the fix, it's 31, 32. Does it make sense for the user? Can't we change this? And it took me, you know, maybe one year to have an alignment to this process. I know that people, you know, were thinking, "Wow, well, that's really useful. It's working." <laughs> Has everyone been the case having a notification of voicemail, you know, six hours or 24 hours? after delivering the message. So the technology is, is working, but is it working perfectly? I think as a consumer, you could say it's not working perfectly all the time. How many voicemails do you have where well, the, uh, uh, the person who calls you gives you a long story, and at the end of the long story, tells you very quickly your mobile phone numbers. You missed one figures, and then you, you, know, you just, oh God, I'm going to listen to all the long story when I just need to have the mobile phone numbers. So if you have the possibility you know, to just select, okay, that was the end of the message. The message is 30 seconds. I just want to hear the last five seconds. That would be you know, a cool service. Yeah. 
So uh, I think the change may be, uh, uh, may be coming from uh, the parallel between voicemails and traditional mail from the data, paradoxically enough. You know, uh, right now, I've seen the figures in France at least, uh, the traffic on the voice is plattering on mobile. And on the data, it's still growing extremely fast. Even, you know, SMS is still growing with new packages. So I think people are thinking about it that isn't there a way we could treat voicemail like traditional mails because the flexibility of the way we're treating written mails, data mails, um, can give more flexibility and increase the usage to have some kind of data usage by the users of the voicemail. So the innovation may be come from what do we do with this nice with the emails that we could do also with the voicemail, it's in storing, uh, uh, checking, organizing them, and giving more flexibility to give the user control of, it, of its voicemail. That may be a very interesting way to innovate. I would say, to be honest, and, 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 and you know, the people who are running carriers are not stupid. It's because um, certainly uh, they are more return on investment first into prediction of the costs, and also the area of growth is far more, uh, really, uh, uh, it's easier to do it on the data side when you see, you know, that the SMS traffic is still growing uh, uh, by, you know, 400% in France. It seems to be easier to deploy um, energies to catch this growing market than rather to stimulate the major product. So there will be one time when, you know, when everybody will be more mature, that will say, okay, have we have been looking at all the areas of growth and you know, people would say, voicemail, well, by the way, what was the latest innovation in voicemail? And people would turn on that. And there's a lot of things to do, but it will need you know, stimulation um, when you will benchmark with all the area of growth, having saturated all the fast growing areas. And right now there is so much you know, in the mobile internet uh, and in areas such as mobile video, mobile data, mobile messaging. Uh, there's so many growth to grab that they are not concentrating on the, on the voicemail. It is the way um, of the business model of innovation. Um, the right way would be, you know, um, let's ask the customers to pay one pound more for month for this service. But you know that it's not really working. It's more going to work in a service that is going to be integrated in a package. And then the problem is that who is going to uh, 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 provide this new service? If it's coming from inside the carriers, carriers, you know, usually you don't have a lot of innovation into carriers. So it must come from another company, maybe a startup providing this type of service. But then there will be a price negotiation for the service that tends to be extremely hard and, and, and maybe killing the innovation. So the right way may, may be uh, to have a B2C service, a dark B2C service, um, funded nicely. I don't know, you know exactly how, but when the service is really used by a lot of people, then the carriers will tend to reintegrate it and be part of the global service in a package. Uh, you know, this, this feature um, uh, enabling me to select you know, only the part of the voicemail that I'm interested in. Uh, I think also uh, the um, uh, uh, voice to text is an interesting feature. I know there have been some innovation in that type of things. Um, uh, the ability to treat a voicemail, you know, as an email to store some voicemails you want to keep and to uh, 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 have somewhere stored when you can have an easy access. That's the area I, I, I think will be, will be um, interesting to, to look at. So I think the future of voicemail is going to be, um, you know, to give more flexibility for the user, uh, more comfort uh, in the use of uh, the uh, voicemail, and more reliability because you need to have your voicemail delivered on time as quick as possible. And not, yeah. Not after 24 hours, you know, the, the message was sent. Mobile Industry Review. The future of voicemail.